Juventus, a titan of Italian football, marked their return to the grand stage of the Champions League. The familiar anthem echoed around the Allianz Stadium, signalling a fresh campaign filled with hope and expectation. After a brief absence, the old lady was back in Europe's elite competition, eager to reassert their dominance. The Bianconeri, under the guidance of Massimiliano Allegri, were determined to make their mark. The Champions League represents the pinnacle of club football, and Juventus, with their storied history, were hungry for success. The opening match of their Champions League campaign saw Juventus pitted against Dutch powerhouse PSV Eindhoven. The atmosphere in Turin was electric, with the home crowd roaring on their heroes. The match itself was a tense affair. Juventus, despite dominating possession, found it difficult to break down a resolute PSV defence. It took a moment of brilliance from Federico Chiesa, who curled in a stunning effort to secure a hard-fought 1-0 victory for the Italian giants. Despite the victory, Dutch midfielder Tiun Koopminers, a key figure in the Juventus midfield, was far from content with the performance. The match had been a hard-fought battle, and while the team managed to secure the win, Coop Miners felt that there were several areas that needed significant improvement. Speaking after the match, Coop Miners acknowledged the importance of the win but stressed the need for improvement. He emphasised that while winning is crucial, the manner in which the team plays is equally important. The midfielder pointed out that the team had struggled with maintaining possession and creating clear-cut chances. We won, and that's the main thing, he admitted. But we can do better, especially in possession. We need to be more composed and make smarter decisions on the ball. Coop Miners also highlighted the importance of teamwork and communication on the field. He mentioned that the team needs to work on their chemistry and understanding of each other's movements to improve their overall performance. Known for his honesty and self-awareness, Coop Miners was particularly critical of his own fitness levels. He admitted that he was not at his peak physical condition and that it had affected his performance during the match. I'm still not at 100%, he confessed. I need to work harder to get back to my best. It's not just about the physical aspect, but also the mental preparation and focus required to perform at the highest level. Coop Miners is determined to put in the extra effort needed to regain his top form. He is committed to pushing himself in training and working on his fitness to ensure that he can contribute more effectively to the team's success in future matches. Coop Miners' assessment highlighted two key areas where Juventus could improve. Firstly, he felt the team's possession play lacked fluency and penetration. While they controlled the ball for large periods, they struggled to create clear-cut chances. Secondly, Coop Miners believed the team's tempo was too slow at times. He felt they needed to move the ball quicker and with more purpose to unsettle opponents. These were areas that Allegri and his coaching staff would undoubtedly address in training. Section 5 The Looming Challenge Napoli await Juventus's victory over PSV was just the start of a long and challenging campaign. Next up, they faced a tricky away trip to Naples to face title rivals Napoli. The Partinope, led by the enigmatic Luciano Spalletti, had made a blistering start to the season and was sure to provide a stern test. The match against Napoli promised to be a fascinating tactical battle. It would be a true test of Juventus's title credentials and an early indicator of their progress under Allegri. Section 6. 
early days, a season of potential. It was, of course, still very early in the season. The air was filled with anticipation and hope as fans and players alike looked forward to what lay ahead. The early matches were crucial, setting the tone for the rest of the campaign. Juventus, like many teams, were still finding their feet and building towards their best form. The initial games were a mix of highs and lows, as the team worked on their chemistry and tactics. The fans, ever passionate, filled the stands with their unwavering support, creating an electric atmosphere. The return of Allegri, a proven winner, had injected a sense of optimism into the club. His presence on the sidelines was a reassuring sight for many. Allegri's experience and calm demeanour were exactly what the team needed during this transitional phase. Allegri was renowned for his tactical acumen and ability to get the best out of his players. His meticulous approach to training and match preparation was evident. He spent countless hours analysing opponents and devising strategies to exploit their weaknesses. He had inherited a talented squad, brimming with experience and quality. The likes of Chiesa, Paolo Dybala and other key players were eager to prove themselves. The blend of youth and experience in the squad was a perfect mix for a successful season and Leonardo Bonucci provided a strong spine to the team. Bonucci's leadership on and off the pitch was invaluable. His ability to organise the defence and inspire his teammates was crucial. Together, they aimed to bring glory back to Juventus, one match at a time. Section 7. The weight of history Juventus's European ambition. Juventus, as one of Europe's most decorated clubs, carried a weight of expectation. Their fans demanded success, both domestically and in Europe. The Champions League, in particular, held a special allure for the Bianconeri faithful. The club had tasted European glory twice, but their last triumph had come back in 1996. Since then, they had endured several near misses, reaching the final in 2003 and 2015, only to fall at the final hurdle. Section 8. The Importance of Squad Depth A long and arduous season lay ahead, with Juventus competing on multiple fronts. The Champions League, Serie A, and Coppa Italia would test the depth and quality of their squad to the limit. Each competition brought its own set of challenges and required a different approach. Allegri knew that he would need to rotate his squad carefully to keep his players fresh and motivated. Managing player fatigue and avoiding injuries would be key to maintaining performance levels throughout the season. The likes of Weston McKenney, Dijan Kulusevski and Moise Keane would all be hoping to play their part. These young talents were eager to prove themselves on the big stage and contribute to the team's success. The strength in depth of the Juventus squad would be crucial in their quest for silverware. With a well-rounded squad, Juventus could adapt to different situations and opponents, giving them a competitive edge. The ability to call upon experienced players and promising youngsters alike would be a significant advantage as they navigated the demands of a gruelling season. The fans, too, played a vital role, providing unwavering support and creating